morning, Heron's Glen. My name is Eric Simpson. I am your golf course superintendent, along with your director of grounds, Tim Kortanik. Just wanted to give you a post-closure update video and kind of give you some expectations for the golf course for the coming weeks. So during this closure, instead of pulling cores, uh, we did two core verifications on these past two, uh, these past two closures. This time, to preserve some organic matter uh, that we so desperately need, we decided just to use the Ninja Tine Bayonet Tines. Uh, they're basically looks like little little knife. They go into the green, kind of break up the particles a little bit, get a little air movement, and that way we can uh, grow in a little more successfully uh, and ready for play. If you take a look, this is one week post airification. It's a very smooth putting surface. All right, now you'll notice on holes one, two, three, and five, you'll see some of these grassy, uh, grassy things that are just kind of a uh, five has some in the middle of the green on the perimeters and the other ones have them on the side. So these are fresh sprigs. Uh, from where we had some airification damage from the previous times from just some shallow roots But we are we have put those in there so they can take and They'll be grown in uh, within the next uh, month or so a uh, couple months or so and create a little better look on those playing services there All right now another thing that you'll notice Is a few weeks ago we had a five inch rain the rain came down in two hours. That set us back deeply on cutting our rough. So we try to mow our rough once a week, at least every Monday. Now, when we mow the rough, we've got it down conditioned enough to where everything wasn't scalping and everything was looking very nice. When we, uh, when we had our five inch rain, five inch rain set us back a week which actually set us back two weeks going into airification um, because of that the rough overgrew and we were left with some uneven sides and everything that we had just done got undone so during the closure uh, Tim and I decided that we needed to scalp down the rough because the last couple of closures we mowed the rough four times and that got it conditioned to be properly grown in uh, this time we decided to scalp it down because it was so high. We had that influx of growth. We wanted to get rid of that extra organic material uh, that had just come off. So if you notice, if you notice when specifically with palm trees, if there's uh, if there's dead dead limbs hanging off, nutrients are going to those dead leaves and not to the right leaves that are living. So that's why we try to eliminate those dead uh, those dead branches. And it's the same thing with turf grass. We try to eliminate. A lot of that dead, uh, dead organic material, that dead shoot material, uh, to keep things from choking out. So, with that being said, you'll notice some marks like this. Okay, this is from scalp marks from the scalping down of the rough. We lowered the heights, mowed them two times, and then we mo then we raised the heights back up to a normal height that they uh, usually at for playability. So, we mowed them again on this past Monday and everything cleaned up very nicely and these are already healing in back in now just because they're scalp does not mean they're dead or they're damaged it's just how they're going to grow in these are just some overgrowth spots now you'll also see that we went around to some parts of the golf course and we're slowly transitioning a couple of our pine straw beds into crushed shell beds the pine straw is becoming more and more expensive and it's overall just becoming not a not a really good look uh, once a big rain hits or or whatnot. So we've started transitioning some of our smaller beds into this nice crushed shell material. It makes it a lot easier for weed control. It makes it a lot easier and aesthetically pleasing for the golfers. You'll notice on number six to the right of the tee, you'll see a very giant wet area and some brown spots. So that is actually our nursery that we just put fresh sprigs on. We used up the rest of our nursery whenever we were 
opening up the golf course to fix uh, to fix some areas that didn't uh, grow in properly from the construction. But now we've got a brand new set of sprigs out there. We're growing it in ourselves, and that'll start taking here soon. And we'll be able to repair some, some a lot of the edge wear that's uh, that came about from verification.